Every day, DNA technology is used by law enforcement agencies to identify suspects, investigate crimes, and bring justice to victims and their families. Unfortunately, lack of resources and an administrative backlog of evidence often prevent many samples from being tested in a timely manner. This is especially an issue when DNA identification is needed while an arrestee is still in custody. I'm Florida Sheriff's Association President and Hernando County Sheriff Alan Enheis, and this is the Public Safety Minute. Now this month's topic is Rapid DNA Technology, one of FSA's legislative priorities for 2023. In recent years, the development of rapid DNA analysis has opened a world of possibilities for law enforcement and other agencies. Now, Florida law currently requires that certain offenders submit DNA samples when they're booked into a jail, correctional facility, or juvenile facility. However, DNA testing on those arrestees can take weeks or months to process due to the nature of the testing and the backlog of submissions to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. The FBI recently provided the FDLE with permission to submit rapid DNA from a jail setting. Rapid DNA is DNA that is taken via swab to the inner cheek, tested by a machine, and automatically uploaded to the FBI's CODIS database. Currently, this is only for booking samples and not investigative samples. The use of rapid DNA technology in jails will allow law enforcement to test a qualifying offender's DNA and determine whether the person's DNA is a match to any unsolved crimes while the person is still in custody. This will assist law enforcement in preventing repeat offenders from being released back into the community where they can commit additional crimes. As a legislative priority for this year, the Florida Sheriff's Association was able to secure $2.75 million from the state legislature for an initial pilot program to purchase rapid DNA machines. The testing supplies and other associated expenses for use in 11 jails in Florida. Each sheriff's office would receive $250,000 to cover the cost of one rapid DNA machine and a portion of the expenses related to the machine as well as consumables for the first year. <clears throat> this funding will be an important step in ensuring that serious offenders are not released back onto our streets. One of the Florida Sheriff's Association's primary roles and responsibilities is to support and monitor legislation that ensures public safety here in Florida, including the important subject of rapid DNA technology. Now you can support and stay up to date with FSA's legislative initiatives at www.flsheriffs.org or you can subscribe to our podcast, the FSA Cast, on any podcast platform. Thanks for tuning in to this month's Public Safety Minute from the Florida Sheriff's Association. Stay informed and stay safe.